hello guys welcome back to my channel today I made a wonderful game using scratch desktop it's called ping pong international so I typed in my username and I'm playing oh no I have lost so this is what I'm using it's called scratch desktop and my name for the game is ping pong international so now let's do the calling we have to take this cat out of here as we don't need it now I have to choose a sprite we can take a baseball basketball apple ball I'm taking a ball for now so now if we go to costumes we can choose what ball color it is I'm taking blue so now let's do the coding first we need to go to events and when the green flag clicked block so next thing we need is the motion block and point in direction 45 as we need the ball to point at a certain direction so next thing we need is the forever block because we need this action to be repeated again and again so now we have to take not 10 move 15 blocks so we put it inside the forever block next thing we need is if on it bounce block because so now it will bounce if on it or else it will go out of the frame and we cannot see what we are doing so now we need a new sprite we need is the paddle sprite we take the paddle sprite put it a little above the ball and do not move it from there and we need the same when the green flag clicked block again then we need the forever block then then we need is we go to sensing and take mouse X so I had to set X to mouse X see so now we need to take the mouse X block and put it inside the set x2 block so now it will follow the mouse pointer next we need to stop this and now we need to go to the ball and we again need the win green flagged click blocks so we put it over there now we take the forever block and the if then block then we go to sensing then the touching block if touching paddle then then we need to put in some another coding blocks we need to take the turn 180 degrees to the right block so we put it inside the then block next we need move 15 block we need the ball to turn some degrees and move then we need to take the wait 0 0.5 seconds or it will be very bad result make a variable variable is a storage component used to store one or more values I name my value score now I take a change score by one when when the ball hits the paddle the score changes to one so now next we need to go to event put the green if the green flag touched and now we need to go to variables and put set variable to zero so we need it to reset once we press the green flag so I'm going 
we can put uh, change variable by by 1 by 5 or by 10 for now I am going by 1 next we need to take is a line a line sprite so what we need now is whenever the ball touches the line we need all the things to stop when the green flag touched for now we need to take a forever block then a if then block then we put the forever then we put the if then block inside the forever block next we need to touch if touching ball so now we need to go to control now we need to stop all then we need to put this on to the when the green flag touched so this is how it works so whenever the ball touches the paddle it bounces off but when the ball touches the red line it stops so now the score also increased to 7 see now I will go to the ball now we can change the set score to whatever we want so now I am pressing subscribe and make sure to subscribe to my channel so it changed to subscribe so now when it touches the ball it changes to one two three so that's how it works now I'm going to stop that and to make it a little more fun I'm going to make it put the answer and put the ask username ask the enter username uh, above the point in direction 45 block so now we got the username thing so now I can enter my username and I'm gaming house so now it comes to the top answer there is no specific reason for adding this it's just for a little bit of fun so if you guys didn't know I already posted a scratch programming called the anti theft alarm in my youtube channel please make sure to visit and watch that or just go to the description box I'll be posting the URL so so let's play this game for a little bit so now I typed in my username and because there was a problem later I'm putting the ball above the above the paddle and changing the enter username to username please or you can even add username so I'm going to type in an M so I'm going to play it now so it's going very well we can even add back backdrops for a little bit of style so now we are to add backdrop we can choose the backdrop from the scratch store we can paint or we can upload our own backdrop from our PC so I'm taking now space category from the from the scratches free store of backdrops so now I'm choosing the moon and now we can paint it so now I'm going to the moon now I'm adding my channel's name behind NM gaming house and for a little bit of style I'm using the pixel pixel font I'm using the pixel font for a little bit of style as pixel is a little bit more like a retro gaming as pong was uh, invented during the retro gaming so now I'm going to stretch the name a little bit you can even add your own name behind the backdrop so now I added my name so now I'm going to play 
I'm going to click the green flag then enter username I'm going to enter NM so score 1 3 4 5 oh no I have lost so if you guys like this video subscribe like and comment see you guys in the next episode